Imagine living near a place where a volcano erupts not once, but seven times in a year. That's what some people in Iceland have been experiencing, as recently, a volcano erupted for the seventh time since December 2023. After 800 years of calm, volcanoes have finally awakened in the Reykjanes Peninsula, about 35 miles south of the nation's capital, Reykjavik. Since 2021, a string of eruptions has disrupted everyday life in the densely populated area, leading to evacuations, power cuts, and infrastructure damage, as well as stoking fears of a massive eruption. Scientists predict that these recent eruptions may be just the beginning of much larger and more destructive events that are imminent. As the magma continues to churn beneath their feet, the question looms large. Is Iceland on the brink of a megavolcano eruption? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Iceland is one of the most geologically active places on Earth with frequent volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. The island nation sits atop the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates are diverging. This tectonic activity creates conditions ripe for volcanic activity, as magma from the Earth's mantle rises to fill the gaps between the plates. The Reykjanes Peninsula is particularly active. The Reykjanes Peninsula is notable for its fissure swarms, which are large fractures in the Earth's crust that allow magma to reach the surface, leading to volcanic eruptions. This region has experienced a series of volcanic episodes throughout history, with eruptions occurring approximately every 800 to 1,000 years. The last major eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula occurred in the 13th century, and recent geological activity suggests that the region may be entering another period of volcanic unrest. The current cycle of volcanic activity in Reykjanes began in 2021, following a prolonged period of seismic unrest that started in late 2019. This unrest was characterized by frequent earthquakes, ground deformation, and increased geothermal activity, all indicative of magma movement beneath the surface. In March 2021, a large fissure opened, releasing a steady flow of lava. This eruption marked the first volcanic activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula in nearly 800 years. Then, in August 2022, a new volcanic eruption occurred. This eruption was preceded by several weeks of intense seismic activity, which indicated that magma was once again moving towards the surface. The eruption lasted for several weeks before gradually declining, but seismic activity continued in the region for the next few years, suggesting that the volcanic system remained active. In November 2023, eruptions caused the small fishing town of Grindavik to be evacuated. Around 4,000 people fled their homes, and although a few people have been back to visit since, many have not returned permanently as the volcano has continued to erupt. Since then, authorities have built barriers to help redirect lava flows away from homes and important buildings like power plants, which supply energy to people's homes and businesses. Another eruption occurred in August 2024, which opened up a fissure about 2.4 miles long. A fascinating thing about these eruptions is that unlike mountainous volcanoes, they all occur by opening up a long, giant crack in the ground from which magma rises to the surface. These are known as fissure eruptions. The most recent eruption in Iceland, which began in November 2024, is the seventh in the series of eruptions that started in December 2023. The eruption began at 11.14 p.m. local time on November 20th, with little to no warning. It started with the opening of a fissure approximately two miles long, releasing lava and gases into the atmosphere. Pictures show bright yellow and orange, glowing hot lava shooting up into the sky. The lava flows advanced rapidly, threatening nearby infrastructure, including the Blue Lagoon Spa, one of Iceland's most famous tourist attractions, which was shut down after the last eruption in August. The lava reached the spa's parking lot, destroying a service building and damaging a pipeline that supplies hot water for heating. The eruption, however, did not produce significant ash clouds, which meant it posed little risk to air travel. According to scientists, 
The Reykjanes Peninsula is located on a tectonic plate boundary, and it seems that the area is now witnessing the earliest part of a major eruption episode. This has been identified as a recurrent phenomenon on the peninsula, with 800 years of pause or quiescence, followed by 100 or 200 years of intense eruptions, followed by another quiet period. To identify the possible causes of the eruptions, researchers looked at the issue from the standpoint of geochemistry and geophysics. First, the team used geochemistry to look at the composition of the lava and recognized a similarity between samples taken several miles apart. This finding shows that magma is accumulating underground, and the eruptions are all fueled by a shared magma reservoir that sits five to seven miles below the surface, rather than different sources. Then, the scientists used geophysics to look at the distribution of a series of earthquakes connected to the eruptions, and found a cluster of deep seismicity at exactly the same depth underground. It's straight under the Fagradalsviak volcano, and that seems to be the main magma chamber, or macro reservoir, supplying other volcanoes as well. The combined use of geochemistry and geophysics is not frequent, but can lead to educated guesses on how many eruptions can come from a volcano. The study emphasizes the importance of ongoing monitoring efforts, and this new approach allows researchers to rapidly assess the likelihood of future eruptions as magma amasses in Earth's crust and new pathways unfold. Given the recent volcanic activity in Reykjanes and the geological factors contributing to it, there is a significant possibility of further eruptions in the near future. The ongoing seismic activity, ground deformation, and magma accumulation all point to an active volcanic system that is likely to produce additional eruptions. In the short term, the likelihood of further eruptions is high. The recent pattern of seismic activity and ground deformation suggests that the volcanic system remains highly active. The presence of magma beneath the surface increases the risk of new fissures opening and releasing lava. There are likely more eruptions to come, with potential for the unrest to continue for the next 300 to 400 years. The devastation in Grindavik means the current volcanic activity is the most destructive in half a century and has thrust Iceland into a new era of contending with the fiery outbursts. The eruptions show the challenge faced by the island nation of nearly 400,000 people, as scientists warn that the Reykjanes Peninsula could face repeated outbreaks for decades or even centuries. If a large volcanic eruption were to occur in the Reykjanes Peninsula, the impact could be severe. A large eruption could produce massive lava flows, which could destroy infrastructure, including homes, roads, and power lines. The Reykjanes Peninsula is home to several geothermal power plants, which provide a significant portion of the country's electricity. An eruption could disrupt these facilities, leading to power shortages and economic losses. If eruptions continue, the town of Grindavik will have to be shut down permanently. Also, Iceland's tourism industry is closely linked to its volcanic landscapes, and the recent eruptions have attracted significant attention from tourists. However, the potential for future eruptions also poses risks to the tourism industry. The ongoing volcanic activity may deter some tourists from visiting the region due to safety concerns. Eruptions could even lead to the permanent closure of popular tourist sites, as seen with the closure of the Blue Lagoon Resort. The recent volcanic eruption on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula is a testament to the island's dynamic geology and the resilience of its people. As Iceland continues to experience volcanic activity, the lessons learned from this eruption will be invaluable for managing future events. By combining scientific knowledge, effective communication, and robust emergency response systems, Iceland has demonstrated how to coexist with the powerful natural forces that shape its landscape. Iceland has an excellent monitoring and response system for volcanic activity, with the IMO and other agencies playing a crucial role in tracking seismic activity and issuing warnings. However, the unpredictable nature of volcanic eruptions means that even the best-prepared communities can face significant challenges. 
As Iceland continues to monitor and study the volcanic systems in Reykjanes, it is clear that the region will remain a focal point for volcanic research and monitoring in the years to come.